G'day Sun Growers, uh, Graham here from Sun Grow with another training session today and today I'm going to show you how to properly calculate what size of battery you can fit to what size inverter. Now it's fairly easy, there's a couple of things you need to pay attention to and I'm going to go through each one of these one at a time on this training session. So we're going to be talking about the SBR and SBH batteries and we're going to talk about the single phase and three phase inverters. So let's get off to a start here. Okay, so the critical factors you're, you're going to be looking at when calculating is the voltage, the kilowatts and the current. When you're looking at kilowatt hours, that's more decided by what capacity the customer wants, what they can afford to buy, which can be upgraded at any time. So we're not too worried about the kilowatt hours just at the moment. Okay, so where do they get the information? All of the important information you need is contained on the tech data sheets uh, for both the battery and the inverters. Now we'll look at each one of these in turn. The tech data sheets are available at https colon slash slash aus.sangropower.com and you can get access to all the tech data sheets in there. Okay. Hybrid inverter tech data sheets. Now, the important information we will look, need to look at the hybrid inverter tech data sheet first because it has some critical information on it. So, in the case of uh, when you're installing solar, uh, you all know that when you connect PV panels, they are connected in series and you connect them up to a certain maximum voltage. And the tech data sheet says uh, what the maximum and minimum DC PV input voltages are for your PV array. It's exactly the same with the battery. Our batteries are a series connection, so the more modules you have, the higher the voltage. Now, I've pulled this one out here as the example, the SH10RS. That's the 10 kilowatt single phase inverter. So as we can see from the battery, um, the PV is, is similar to the PV input. Now, what you're looking for here is battery voltage range and it's under the battery data section, okay? So you look across here and you see that in this inverter, uh, lithium ion battery it will accept 80 to 460 volts on the battery. Now, there is some other uh, information there which I will talk about later. Uh, so the above example the minimum voltage is 80 and the maximum is 460 so just bear that one in mind. Now I will talk about the battery, dis the, the current, the discharging later so don't worry about that right now because it depends on which battery is connected to. Okay on the battery tech data sheet right the information you require uh, for the calculation is, once again, you'll need to know the voltage, the kilowatts, okay. So on the tech data sheet for the battery, so this is the SBR battery, uh, tech data sheet here, and this is the information that you're looking for. Uh, primarily, first of all, we want to look at the voltage. Now you look at the, um, as each stack goes up in the number of modules, the voltage increases, okay? So on the SH10RS, it has a maximum battery input of 460 volts. So how many modules can we stack there? Okay, there you go, six modules, because if you try to put on seven modules, the voltage is too high, eight modules, the voltage is too high. Six modules, yep, it comes in under the 460 volts, so you can stack up to six modules. And if you look down here, uh, the minimum voltage was 80, if you remember, and the minimum voltage there is 108, so that's fine. So you can put two, three, four, five, six modules on a stack on an SH10RS. Now, on the three phase models, which I'm not going to go through at the moment, if you do look at the voltage range on the three phase hybrids, you will see that you are able to, I think 600 volts was the highest, if I remember rightly, you will be able to put eight module stacks on the three phase inverters. 
because the voltage comes in at under the maximum voltage. So, for the sake of this, uh, we've checked the operating voltage and we have found out that a six module stack, 438 volts, comes in under the 460 volts, so that's fine. Or any one of these. Okay, what about backup power? Now this is something that um, I have found that people aren't particularly aware of. This is also on the tech data sheet for the batteries. So we can see from the above data sheet that the maximum kilowatt output from an SBR096, there we are, is 5.76 kilowatts, okay? Because that's the voltage times the current. So that means that the event of a power failure at night, so we have no AC, no DC from the panels, and we're relying on the battery, the maximum backup load will be 5.76 kilowatts. Okay, so bear that in mind, even if you've got a 10 kilowatt inverter, the maximum you're going to get out of the battery is 5.76. So under the power failure at night when there's no PV, that's the, the maximum load you can connect to the backup circuits. Obviously, if you overload the backup, uh, the system will trip. So if the customer has an SH10RS and they do want 10 kilowatts on backup, uh, the SBR192, which is this one here, will be the one that is required because it's capable of supplying up to 11.52 kilowatts. The five module, the SBR160, uh, peaks at 9.6. That might be enough, but it might not. Uh, so obviously, uh, as long as you discuss this with your customer, of course, it is possible uh, that they can start off a system with three modules and then add another three modules on top later. That's entirely easy to do. There is a procedure for doing it, which we can send out to you. So the customer can start on three and then build it up to six modules. Battery current. Okay, now the current ratings for the inverters. Okay, the charge discharge current is dependent on the inverter. The three phase series can charge and discharge at up to 50 amps. That doesn't mean they will, but it means they can. And the, the inverter controls the discharge rate. Uh, the SH5RS, SH6RS single phase can charge discharge up to 30 amps. SH8 and SH10RS single phase 8 and 10 kilowatt can discharge up to 50 amps. That's the same as the three phase. The batteries, so the SBR series, uh, that can charge discharge up to a maximum of 30 amps. So no matter what inverter you've got connected there, the maximum you're going to get is 30 amps. Okay. Uh, the SBH series, uh, they're the higher power ones, they can charge and discharge up to 50 amps, which they will do on the three phase. They will also do on the 8 and 10 kilowatt single phase but the five and six kilowatt single phase has a maximum of 30 amps so bear that in mind now you can connect stacks in parallel if you do require uh, more capacity for example supposing you have a stack of six which is 19.2 kilowatt hours customer wants more capacity because they might have another inverter connected you can connect another stack in parallel as long as it is identical now bear in mind if you do a parallel connection uh, the capacity will increase okay but the current the discharge current will remain the same uh, so if you've got two of these uh, the discharge is still going to be 30 amps maximum through the inverter and the voltage will stay the same as well so if the stacks are identical uh, only the capacity increases and you can have up to four identical stacks so hopefully that uh, explained it for you um, you're welcome to rewind and watch it again but it is fairly simple and if you get any further questions, please contact us at SunGrow.